Hey everybody and welcome. In this video we're going to look at how to create an edge scroll effect that allow you to move images based on where the mouse is in the screen. Before I get started I just wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone who subscribed. If you haven't yet subscribed feel free to do it. Give us a thumbs up as well, hit that notification icon so you'll always stay updated when I've uploaded new content and of course let me know what you think in the comments below. Also a massive thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon. Your names are going to be running across the bottom of the screen. You guys are awesome. There is a link to my Patreon for anyone who's interested in the description below. So let's get right on with this then. So we got back into our scripts file in the tutorials with Thundee project and we're going to just be using the layered image that we created in the last video. If you haven't got that image, don't worry about it. You can just basically replace this show Lucy statement with any image you have. So what I've done is I've removed the X align and the Y align and I've replaced them with X pods and Y pods. So all we're doing is we're changing it from positions relative to the screen. We're just changing them to screen coordinates instead. So what we need to do before we do anything else is actually define these values XP and YP. So I'm going to say XP equals 960. It's about halfway across the screen. And then YP equals 540. So that's halfway down the screen as well. So if I were just to save that and run that, let me hit start. There you go. You can see she's there, but she's not in the center of the screen. And that's because the anchor of the image is the top left. So we can fix that. We come out of there. We come back into this statement and we're going to add an X anchor. And it's going to be 0.5. Y anchor is also 0.5. There's no anchor. We don't need an equal sign in there. Lesson learned. And we run that again. When we hit start. There you go. She's now smack bang in the middle of the screen. So we're going to quit out of that. We've got the result we want so far. So now we want to be looking at how we can actually move these coordinates around so that the image appears to move. So what we're going to do is the first thing we need to do is we need to create a variable called testing. And we're going to set that to true. And the reason we're doing that is because we're going to create a loop. So we're going to say while testing. So what we're saying is as long as this variable is true, we're going to stay in this loop and we want to move that like that. So now we need to set up a way for us to be able to check whether these coordinates need to move or not. So all we're going to do is we're going to set a variable and we're going to call this uh, edge move just for the sake of ease. And we're going to say rempy.call underscore screen. And then we need to open brackets. And we're going to create a new screen called edge scrolls. Edge scroll underscore screen. There we go. So we know what it is. And we're going to put that on the screens layer. So we say layer equals screens. Not forgetting, of course, to put the underscore there like that. So in terms of this code, that's actually all we need to do. We now need to create a screen. So we're going to create a new file and we'll just call this edge.rpy. And we come back to our script and we're just going to copy that name so that we get it right. And we're going to type in screen. Well, now we have to make sure we're in the right file. Edge got screen parentheses colon. So just come back to our screen file and make sure we haven't accidentally typed over something. No, we haven't. So in this screen, what we need to do is we need to define areas of the screen where if we were to hover the mouse over it, it would cause the image to move. So what we need to do is we're going to set up mouse area. And this is a new thing. I haven't talked about it with you guys before. A mouse area effectively works a bit like an image button but it doesn't take focus. So you can have an area of the screen defined to react in a certain way, but still have buttons in it. So you can have, you know, a clicky button in the mouse area as well. So it'd have like two effects essentially. So what we need to do is define the area. And we're gonna say it's the top left-hand corner of the screen. And we're gonna make it 100 pixels across. 
and then we just need to set that to the bottom of the screen. Next thing we need to do is set hover to state. And we get in this, we're going to put set variable. Sorry, I had to just think and talk at the same time. It's complicated, you know. And we're going to be changing the XP variable, which is the X coordinate. And we're going to change that to XP plus one. So if we're on the left hand side of the screen, the image is going to move to the right. And then we need to put return so that it actually comes out of the screen. Now we need to set up four, three more areas so that we have four in total. So we're just gonna create four of those. Now we'll set up the right hand edge. So this one's gonna be from 1820 to 1920. If I don't put quite so many things in there. And this one is going to reduce our X value. So we put XP minus one. The next one is going to be from 100 pixels in at the top, and then it's going to be 100 pixels. Um, this needs to be 1820, 100 pixels from the right hand side of the screen to 100. And then we change this so that it's going to change the Y value, and we're going to increase the Y value when the mouse enters that area. Last mouse area is going to be 100 pixels across and it's going to go from 980 100 pixels from the bottom and then it's going to be 1820 100 pixels from the right hand side of the screen to the very bottom of the screen and this one needs to be yp yp minus one so let's quickly run through this again we've got small area 100 pixels wide on the left hand side of the screen but when the mouse enters it it's going to increase the x value that the image is displayed on so the image is going to move to the right now we have another mouse area declared which is 100 pixels from the right hand side of the screen and that's going to subtract one from the x axis which is going to make the image move to the left and we're putting this return statement at the end of that line so that it forces the the action to happen because if we didn't have the return nothing would happen it would just stay on the screen waiting for some kind of interaction like a mouse click on a button or something but because we haven't got any clickable areas it's not going to do that then we've got our top of the screen which is from 100 pixels across so that there's no overlap between the area that's making the image move to the right so it starts at 100 pixels across and it goes to 100 pixels from the right hand side of the screen so again there's no overlap and it's 100 pixels tall which is going to cause the x the the y-axis to increase and then the same thing for the bottom of the screen which causes the y-axis to decrease so if we save that and we run it now when we put our mouse at the top at the bottom, at the left, at the right. And that's really all there is to it. We could obviously, if we come out of there, we quit out of that, we could change these values to 10 so that it moves a lot faster. We could change the initial starting position so that it was starting on the top left hand side of the screen. In fact, we could demonstrate that now if we come into script and we're gonna change this to show home like that. And now when we run the script, script again you can see that we could actually have a much larger image that just scrolls around and you could use it for all sorts of purposes so there you go that's it that's all there is to it i hope you found that useful let me know what you think in the comments below again subscribe smash that like button and i'll see you in the next one bye bye